So now let's complete our sign up that is to register and save new user record to database. Now before we start working on that this response body okay some of you may be thinking and it is obvious that you must think about this that is from where this exist came okay response body exist that is if this is true then it means that email is already in someone else use try another email otherwise register and save new user record to database now from where this exist came in the previous video I forgot to mention that and it is important to first dis discuss this so in our API where we have our validate email dot PHP file where we uh, execute over this code okay and if any existing email found that is the total number of rows will be one okay greater than zero simply means one so it will execute this if condition otherwise it will con uh, if no email found then it means the number of rows length is zero so it will execute this code now here if you see we set this key name to this key name we set this value true and uh, in case if no email found in the database that is in case when the number rows length is zero then in that case success value is set to false so this is basically the keyword okay so here we will give it a proper name that is let's say email found please use the same keyword okay f is capital so email found we will set the email found this is the key name we will set the value for this to true in case if email is already in someone else use then email found will be true else otherwise email found will set to false if the email is not already in someone else use okay so th by the same key name we have to basically this is the response okay the response which is coming from there so that response so we will check here that is if the response body email found that is if it is true you can uh, write like this also you can further explore it by simply saying like this that is if the response body email found you know that email found will have a value true or false uh, so if it is true then we will simply say that email is already in someone else use try another email otherwise if the email found value is false then we will register and save new re user record to the database so i hope now you understand the meaning of this okay this is the response body that is the email found value which is come directly from here okay so email found will have a value either true or it will be false remember this keyword must be same okay this is the key name for these two values true false so by this key name we are passing this okay so this response we must receive here in our flutter application by the same key name if the spelling is different then you will not receive any value okay you will get error your code will not execute so that's why okay for the validate email as you know this is the validate email part so we receive that email found uh, value that is it will be either true or false with the help of this key name email found so i hope now you understand it more easily